Attending the Compass Conference has been amazing because really now more than ever, we need cross aisle, you know, cross asset class, cross community collaborations to steer the ship in the right direction. This is my first opportunity to meet with this great set of investors, of human rights activists, of think uh, people who are trying to build a real thoughtful practice of how we build a world that's more equal, where people have more opportunity, where people's human rights are protected, where we protect the climate of this planet for the future. That is not easy to do as an institutional investor. The dollars that we are investing are not just invested for the benefit over the next quarter, but to ensure that the dollars that we are investing are to benefit over the next 10 plus years, to benefit communities, to benefit the next generation as we move forward. The more and more we have this conversation and the more that this topic is relevant and talks more specifically about the materiality that this has on business models across the world, the more that this consideration is going to go into place when investors are investing capital into companies or as business models are being built out. And so coming here, being able to engage with pension funds, private equity, public equities, and have real conversations about the risks to their portfolios and the opportunities for them to be on the right side of history is enormous. This is an opportunity for us to be able to create a collective group of advocates, of influencers who can affect change in their respective institutions. We all can be change agents. We don't need to move a massive mountain, but if each of us moved a stone, collectively we'll be able to move that mountain together. And that is the ethos of the RFK Compass Investors Program. It's why we gather. And so for that, I just want to say a huge thank you. Thank you for helping to make this a success.